Uh, welcome to One More Today. I'm Sophie, your pilot into the universe of Chinese. We're going to continue our special summer edition of 2023, doing one single Chinese character a day. One single Chinese character a day. Okay, I have to make grammatically correct. Okay, Ran is what we're going to talk about today. And Ran was... Um, Kind of a fun word because I do have a like a journey to discover run even even as a Chinese language user. I grew up. I remember probably I was second grader. That's the first time I came across this character. Second grader, like seven or eight years old. I remember clearly what <laughs> it, this character was printed on the textbook called the Zi Ren, which is nature. Chinese way to say nature. And of course, when I see the two characters, I can probably read them, but I have no clue what the zi ran is about. And I asked my friend's dad, because we happened to happen in her uh, place and asked the dad to explain the definition of a zi ran. I think the guy oh, <laughs> was struggling to explain to second graders what the zi ran nature was about. Um, but I find that that conversation probably should happen earlier because nature's such a big part of the, the life, right? Okay, Ran then, which is part of nature, half of the characters of nature, when it presents itself to me, what does that mean? Eventually I settle on this vibe meaning because Ran, when we, this is contemporary looking and contemporary kind of uh, looking very much similar to the ancient way of working, uh, looking except that contemporary use four dots ba, 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 uh, as the further abstraction and the simplification of the fire symbol so originally it has this fire and then it has the dog on top <laughs> i know chinese had a bad reputation chinese korean as well i mean korean must be influenced by chinese have this bad reputation of dog eaters and I guess here's the proof. The third symbol over here doesn't mean dog, it means meat. So made it explicit, like dog meat cooking over fire. And somehow this character now means vibe or something, some happening. In this, in this uh, image is what I call it a barbecuing dog. I'm sorry for all the pet lovers over there. Okay, but this is a historical hit. This is like Chinese back then use dog as part of their cuisine. I mean, still today, contemporary Chinese part region of part, some region of China still eat dog. It's still part of the cuisine. So dog was acted, was, I mean, functioned in the society was not as pet, even if there may be cute, you know, dogs. That's a later thing that blooms oversight in America. Like this is a pet culture dominance right now here. And if you say you actually eat dog food, you're almost like a cannibalism, right? But in Chinese back then, dog was not used mostly as a pet. It was as a food source. We can understand why, right? But because back then, agriculture and uh, farming of animals probably was not as advanced. The food was not as easily like industrial production, mass production, you know, ample supply. So dog was not used as something to be a companion, used as food source. It's more a survival situation back then. So forgive this culture if it offended you, um, but this, this dog cooking over fire was the original meaning. And, and this process of dog barbecuing extended into this processing. Something is burning involved with material that's dog meat involved with processing or this energy um, fire added to the bottom, right? And then involved with um, this process of transforming raw meat to something edible for survival purpose. So this whole dog meat barbecuing image then eventually becomes the vibe. It's almost like with energy supplied, that's the fire, the original source of energy that we, we master early on as a human's journey on the planet Earth, that this fire added to cook dog meat. 
you know, as part of a, like, a, we can view it as cooking, but it's, it's, it's food processing <laughs> in its initial form, right? And this adding energy to material to transform it from raw to cooked so that people can survive on this cooked meat. And this ran then became this vibe that we can see how things are cooking almost, right? What kind of energy is at the bottom of this, this meat, this dark meat that you see. So that becomes vibe. And the beginning story of nature, Chinese create the nature concept as zi ran, zi, it's auto, like self, self-burning, almost like a self-burning is, is a definition of nature. Because I guess whoever translates a phrase nature into Chinese as zi ran, acknowledge the portion of uh, nature has runs its own course. It's auto, it's out of your control. And the ran have both material and energy combination in it. So it's, <laughs> it's entropy, right? It's entropy increasing process. It's things are transforming, things are burning. Eventually things are <laughs> getting into our, um, like a nature, we meet nature in different point of time and you know different forms, all that compact complexity packed into two characters. So Ren is therefore this energy, this burning, this meat processing, or the material transformation embedded into this character. So you see uh, Chinese, in contemporary Chinese, I call it vibe. I translate this vibe to give it its original source of meaning, but eventually got to abstract it into even more abstract concept. So I later on learned Ren is a Chinese one word answer to a question. If you want to do this or that uh, to a, if or not, yes or no question to be positive, like affirmative. This Ren used just by itself in a conversational situation. Somebody asks you something and then you answer Ren, that means positive. So here we have right, correct, that's the positive. Interesting, right? Like this vibe, this, this, this fire burning becomes positive. And then, so I guess this is ziran is kind of like a so similar, like it's how, it's what things, what it is. It is what it is, basically. That's so, this is, you know, let's face it, we're cooking dog right there so that's there you go and then somehow along the way it got this from the positive by itself to this twist of meaning so from positive then it has this twist twister function to tell you but 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 here's a second part so you see the dog food burning but 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 there is some other <laughs> other things coming along so we have this conjunction function of the shrine again so here, there we go. This I translate, I still stick with my theory. I want to translate it as vibe because this is about energy, about material, about the transformation of a material through the energy applied to it. And this bonfire um, is a visual representation of what a fire originally looks about, right? It's not, you know, a gas light on your stove. <laughs> this is how a fire was originally looking uh, lots with, with this major body of the fire and then sparkles, many, many millions of sparkles going around it. And Chinese character represented as this main body and the, and the fire on it. And that's the Ren. Um, and eventually a fire symbol added next to it to make the specific means burning, means this fire burning image. Um, but I guess this originally do have the fire symbol in it already. And it's what it is, dog barbecue. Hashim to the currency of thinking about one more day with Sophie. See you next time.